Honeybees fulfill their nutritional requirements by gathering pollen and nectar from the flowers that surround their apiary. Nectar is the primary source of carbohydrates for the colony. It provides the energy the bees need for their day-to-day -day activities and survival. A colony of 50,000 bees consumes approximately 22 ounces of honey per day or 2 pounds of 1 to 1 sugar syrup. Colonies that don't have enough honey can starve. When there aren't good nectar sources in the landscape and the colony doesn't have enough honey stores, beekeepers must provide adequate nutrition to maintain the colony's health. Beekeepers can supplement their bees with light sugar syrup when first starting a package or hive that has no foundation to help them have an easier start and until they have drawn at least six frames. Beekeepers can also supplement during spring build-up to help strengthen the colony coming out of winter, stimulate brood production and encourage pollen foraging. In summer, when nectar is scarce, sugar supplementation is crucial to keep the colony functioning. In fall, feeding heavy syrup helps prepare the colony's reserves for winter and prevent starvation. During spring and in dirt seasons, beekeepers should offer a light syrup made from one part of sugar and one part of water. And during fall, when the temperatures are starting to drop, bees must be offered a heavy syrup made from two parts of sugar to one part of water. A heavier syrup is easier for the bees to ripen for storage. It is very important to understand that we should not supplement our bees during the nectar flow to prevent honey alteration if we are planning to harvest the honey. I will now show you how to prepare a 1 to 1 light sugar syrup and a 2 to 1 heavy syrup. To prepare a light syrup or 1 to 1 syrup, we will mix equal parts of granulated white sugar and water. We need a heat source, a large pot, a large spoon to help us dissolve the sugar, and our ingredients. In this case, we're gonna use one quart of sugar and one quart of water. Turn the heat source off before adding the sugar. It is very important to note that we can boil the water but must never boil the sugar or the syrup because toxic compounds can be formed and affect our bees. Now, we can make the syrup using cool water but it is easier to dissolve the sugar if the water is warm. To make the sugar syrup, add the sugar to the warm water and stir until it dissolves. Store the syrup in a clean container and wait until it is completely cool to feed the bees. One to one is the ratio that we want to feed our bees with during the spring build up and when nectar is scarce. To make the two to one syrup, follow the same steps you would to make the one to one, but add double the sugar. This syrup is what we use for our bees in fall to prepare for overwintering. We are ready to go feed our bees at the beautiful Sherwood Demonstration Garden in Placerville, California. Let me now introduce you to Mr. Jim Williams. He is the president of El Dorado Beekeepers Association and has been a beekeeper for 28 years. So I use a jar with an, a brass nipple and I drill a hole in the roof and we feed through the roof. The most important thing with a feeder is that only bees inside the hive can access the feeder. So any solution that guarantees that only bees from inside the hive can access the feed is a, is a good solution. So one to one we use in the spring and it, it's closer to uh, what nectar is, although it's still a lot more sugary, and it's easily used by the bees for brood rearing. So we want to stimulate brood growth in the spring, and with light syrup, the one to one, that's how we accomplish that. So the two to one, we typically give in the fall. So two to one, we want them to dry that and store it and cap it as honey. So in the spring, we feed when bad weather is imminent or we're in the middle of rainy season, and if honey's not available and they can't fly out to feed themselves, we have to do it for them. So we'll feed light syrup in that instance in the spring. And um, in the fall is of the other time we would feed. Thank you for staying with us during this short video and we hope you enjoyed it as much as we did.